Hi, we're going to make a Mary Blair inspired pop-up card. So we're going to first start by folding a piece of paper in half. Make sure your edges all line up and then press down and press up. Make sure it's all nice and folded. Now, make sure we're going to draw on this side that has the fold on it. I'm going to draw two lines. First a line there. And we're going to draw a parallel line, which means a line that's the same length and is right next to the first line. I'm going to draw two more parallel lines, one and two, and two more, one and two. Notice that the middle lines are taller than the other lines that I drew. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a pair of scissors and we're going to cut on all the all those lines we just drew. To the end of each line and stop. Cut to the end of the second line and stop. And then we'll do that for all six lines. Now we're going to do a little folding. I'm going to start with this first one. I'm going to fold it up and push flat. Now I'm going to do the middle one. Fold it upward and push flat. And then third, fold up and push flat. Now I'm going to unfold, unfold, and unfold. Turn my card over and fold them in the opposite direction. So up, down. That middle one up and down, and then the third one as well up and down. This just makes sure they're nice and folded. Remember, you can pause if you need to if I'm moving to fast. Now we're going to open up our card and what we need to do is those tabs we just folded need to be pushed outward. So I'm going to push from the back right there and push forward and that starts to pop up. I'm going to do the same thing with this middle one. Find, find that section here on the back and push upward. Push and it will pop outward like that. And then we have to do the last one, the third one down at the bottom. We want to make sure it pops out too. So that one there, we'll push from the back and push it outward. Now we have three different layers. These are called layers, but we have three layers in our pop-up card to attach three pieces of our Mary Blair inspired pop-up tube. Now you're going to need a new piece of paper. I'm going to start by folding this piece of paper in half, just like we did our first paper. Pressing down and then pressing up. I'm going to take this piece of paper and I actually want to cut it in half. So I'm going to unfold it and right there on that fold that we just created, right there down the middle, I'm going to take my pair of scissors and cut right on that fold. So now I have two halves. Two halves make a whole. I'm going to set one of the halves aside and I'm going to take the other half and I turned it. Now I'm going to fold it in half to make two almost square shapes. They're not quite squares, they're still rectangles, but they're pretty close to being a square. So I'm going to fold them in half, pushing up and pushing down so it's nice and folded. And I want to cut that in half too. So right there on that fold we just made, I'm going to take my scissors and cut right along the fold. Now we have three pieces. We have these two small pieces and we have the larger piece. And these are going to be the pieces of our Mary Blair inspired castle. So I'm going to put in a few images while I draw mine. You can see here I'm adding simple shapes to create my Mary Blair inspired castle. And here's some Mary Blair artwork that I was inspired by. You can draw the same shapes I drew or you can draw any ones you choose. It is your choice to make your castle exactly like you want it. You're the artist. Next, I'm gonna take my scissors and cut out the pieces of my castle. So the three pieces that I drew, I'm going to cut them out. Notice that I'm only cutting around the outside edge of my castle piece. 
So I'll have one piece and then I'll cut around the outside edge of the middle piece and I'll cut around the edge of the third piece as well. So I'll have all three pieces cut out, but make sure you only cut around the outside edge of your castle pieces. So you'll have three big pieces at the end. Now I've taken my, grabbed my pop-up card and I have three of those pop-ups, one, two, and three. I'm gonna be attaching to the front side of all three of those little tabs. So I'm gonna flatten this out. So there's one, there's one, and there's one. That's what I'm going to attach to. I don't have any glue, so I'm gonna use tape, which is fine. If you have glue, you can use glue. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my tape pieces on the front side of all three of those tabs. So I've got one roll, and a second, and then I have a third one right here that I'm gonna put on this last um, tab over here. Remember, if you use glue, that's just fine. I'm gonna start with the left-hand one, and I wanna line up this edge with the fold at the bottom. There's a fold down there underneath um, at, the, at the bottom that I wanna line that edge up with. So I'm gonna mash it down so it's attached. Same thing with this one. That edge is gonna line up with the bottom fold that we created. Line it up and push it down flat. And lastly, I'm gonna put my large piece, my tallest piece in the middle, lining up the edge with the fold that we made. Now, I'm gonna flip over my card and push those tabs, make sure they're folded the correct direction, make sure they're pushed downward. That one needs to be pushed in, there we go. So I can actually fold this flat, and you can see where um, we made the cuts earlier, folding it all nice and flat so that I can open it up and see my Mary Blair inspired castle. There's my pop-up card from the front, but you can see there's some empty white space down here at the bottom and back behind my castle as well. I'm gonna choose to draw some details on the bottom and in the background. You might choose to draw, or if you wanna add color in another way, you could color it in solid, you could paint it. Whatever supplies you have to add color, you can use those to add color however you'd like. So I'm gonna add a little bit more pattern as you see here. I was inspired by the ride in Disney World and added a little water in front of my Mary Blair castle, but you can add however you'd like. It's your artwork. All right, there it is. There's our Mary Blair inspired pop-up card. I hope you had fun making this artwork with me today, and I'll see you guys next week.